Hello and welcome to this video which is going to be a bit different this week partly because I'm recording this pretty late at night and I'm going away for a couple of days tomorrow morning so I don't have time to make a full video but also because I actually found this coincidentally this week and I think it's a fantastic thing which I wanted to link to anyway so there's a link in the description to this page this guy's site Bartosz I believe I'm pronouncing it wrong no doubt I'm not even going to attempt the surname but anyway his site is is a fantastic joy. Every few months, he comes up with a long and detailed uh, post with some fantastic programming, which allows you to explore the topic in question. Previously, he's done things like mechanical watches and internal combustion engines, but this one is on sound. And if there's ever been any questions in your mind about the physics of sound, etc., how how any of this works, I would really strongly recommend you take the three quarters of an hour or so it will take you to to read through this because it's it for me this is a real joy to find i'm not sure where you would find this normally this kind of thing i just found it through a site called hacker news and it's mostly people enthusing about the amazing programming that he does because these sites are actually very small and he hand writes everything it's really a joy programming wise but also he's just done some great examples so for instance we start at the beginning you can play this on your keyboard so sine waves at different frequencies, etc. But he goes through how sound propagates through air, air pressure, etc. The simplifications he's used, etc. This kind of thing. So you can see, and all of these all work with sliders. So you can play around with them, and you can see the effect of the action that you're making. And they're obviously all in context of the text which is surrounding them. But I say this is a really fantastic piece of writing and I, I wouldn't let the maybe slightly technical nature of it put you off because he writes really clearly and he's clearly you know a, a good teacher so we get to some interesting stuff about making sounds where you can see the offset of each one and then later on they can play at different frequencies so I'm just going to skip through so you can see the effect of putting different frequencies together and so on it's a real joy. I'm not going to spoil it for you and tell you who did it at the end, etc. But I would strongly recommend that you uh, spend a bit of time, you know, just just enjoy reading through and you'll probably find something out. There was a few things in there which which I, I didn't know. Uh, I'm not afraid to admit. So hopefully you'll uh, enjoy that and have a good week. And I'll be back next week with a video as normal.